Hey guys, Paul, PNB Craft DIYs, and welcome. If you're seeing this, this is the second attempt to a video of me. I was working on this, and uh, let me take these candles out. But uh, I attempted to burn this into the, the wood. It turned out real good. Uh, not using a uh, stove burning kit. Uh, wood burning kit. Excuse me. I'm using a product called torch paste. So I'm going be using a stencil. Uh, I want to thank my daughter Kayla Brady for getting these printed for me on her Cricut. And we're going to try this again. Uh, I lost all the footage. Don't know what happened. But as soon as I get everything set up and ready to go, I'll be right back with you. All right, y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. Um, when I done the tea light holder, I just had what was in, on the cap. And you can see I didn't use much. But, uh, and it don't take a whole lot. So, Let's, and this stuff is non-toxic, so it's food safe. So let's get in here and let's do this. This will take a minute. I'm going to work left to right and get a little fresh in there make sure I get all the little details it's got little leaflets between these big leaflets so Get all of it worked in the details. Because what's the point in making a stencil if you ain't going to use it all? And I will come back with the squeegee. And uh, get, no, just, I'm leaving just very little. on the board and this stuff will go so just a three ounce jar but this stuff will go a long ways I mean you can see how much I'm using Not using very much at all. Not too much that time. And when I get done coating this stuff, we'll let it set and dry. I recommend at least two minutes. I know I may be going over it twice, but it ain't going to matter. Not one bit. 
whole bunch there and spread that around. And you can tell if you've missed a spot. You can tell the difference between here and this right here. You can tell the difference. Dark from the light. So, all right, we're going to carry on. I'm going to quit talking and get this done. I was hoping I wouldn't have to be doing this video here. The uh, first video, I don't know what happened, but I lost all my footage. And I lost a lot of pictures. But that's okay. I can make more pictures. And I can make more videos. So hopefully this one turns out. All right, I'm going to run over this again right quick. Again, I'm just using very little. You got a cricket. Make your own logos. And start tagging your stuff. Now I'm going to take the squeegee, and you want to be careful, I, I want to be careful because I did not tape this, so we'll, and the reason you want to tape it is because if you get this anywhere else on the wood, and that heat gets it, you can see, I'm not getting nothing hardly off of this. So, all right, as soon as this dries, I'll get back with you, and uh, hey, we'll break out the heat gun and show you what happens. The magic is about to happen. Be right back, guys. All right, guys, it's dried, and I've done picked it. stencil off but you can see where the uh, paste went on now on this part I am going to wear gloves because this heat gun gets hot I think y'all be amazed at what happens here if you hadn't seen this it's all over YouTube and uh there's a lot of people been using it. So, I'm going to get my gloves on here. I do have a Seek One heat gun, 1800 watts, dual speed, adjustable temperature. So, let's. Get this thing started. So 
if I can hold this where you can see it. Sure, I got it plugged in. Be right back. All right. Let's start off on the low. I'm going to warm the board up. I'm going to kick it up on high. You can go and see it. Burning in there. Now I'm using a conical tip on this. Check that out for me. There we go. Now we're cooking. You don't want to get too close. And you do want to keep it moving. You get too close and eat. See it's burning a little bit of the wood. What about that guys? Pretty neat. Alright. Turn that off. Let this cool for a little bit. If I can get this heat guy to set up. But check that out, guys. I was amazed when I done the tea light holder. That turned out pretty good. And you see it kind of, I got a little too close. It kind of. Burnt the wood a little bit. But I mean, look at it. It kept the detail. Instead of blurring or being blotchy. So then what I do is find my sandpaper here we just got an old piece of sandpaper I think it's 320 grit just give it a little sanding Good. 
what it's doing is bringing the holes out of the wood, which is fine. This is just first white piece of wood that I've done so that may be part of the problem but I mean you can see the difference but all in all I'm I'm happy with this product torch based um, it turned out pretty good so let me know what you think but uh, hey I'll be right back we here in just a second and we'll talk a little bit All right, guys. <clears throat> well, there it is. You got to see it work. It was just a quick video. The other one was almost going to be 30 minutes long. and uh, But that's okay. I just wanted you to see how this works. and uh, I mean, it's, I am happy with the product. I thought it done a good job. I mean, you can see between the big leaves, the little leaflets in there. All in all, it, it turned out pretty good. All right, guys. I would then like you to like this video if you liked what you saw. Uh, comment. Let me know what you think. Hey, and most of all, subscribe. We're trying to build uh, PNB Crafts DIYs and get our numbers up. So, hey, share with somebody. Say, hey, he come up. He's got a good idea coming out. So, guys, I do appreciate it. Y'all have a nice day, and hey, we'll catch you on the next project. Bye, guys.